Oh boys, we've changed tactic again. I need a tactical philosophy. So what I want down in the comments, I just want you to name a manager um, so then I can have a look around in the comments and decide what tactical philosophy style we're going to follow. So write down in the comments right now, just put the manager you would like to see me replicate in this save because at the moment we're bouncing through tactics and we're just trying to get through seasons at the moment and we need a long-term plan. We've got a fabulous crop of youngsters coming through. We can kind of afford now to start looking at a proper philosophy. So get it down in the comments. Which direction are we going to take Athletic Club York in? The best ideas will be put into a Patreon vote um, and then we'll announce a winner probably next week. So get down in the comments. Tactical philosophy, name your manager. From states to Totley, straight through Ripon and Otley We're proud to be your Shire From North Sea to Cornwall all right, boys, welcome back to the channel. We are in, as you can see, we are in fifth place. It's gone okay. We have reverted back to a standard 442. When I can see something on the turn, I just find going back to my Parma 442 a bit boring, but it just gives us that little bit of solidity, I think, that it needed. Um, we're actually on the back of two straight defeats. However, one was in the... Um, FA Trophy and one was to Stockport in the league, only 1-0 away from home. They also have only lost three games all season and have placed above us. Okay, so since the last episode when we scrambled that draw against our rival York, we've had an up and down month. We had a nice little upturn in form here when we went to the 4-4-2. I said we're coming off two, back, two bad results, but not bad performances. We've got Hartlepool and Aldershot today. Hartlepool are 11th. Older shot six. So tough games. I think next week's episode will, fingers crossed, be a playoff episode. If we can nail the playoffs, next week's episode will be a playoffs episode. Right, let's dive into the games. What I'd like you to do, I know you've commented down below, giving me your manager philosophy and what, what you'd like to see replicate in the save. What I'd also like you to do, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, smash a like on it. I've also got a signing to show you. Nothing outstanding, just a low knee from Middlesbrough. Um, at the time when we were doing the 3-5-2, we needed an extra body in midfield. He's all right. He's got a few statistics, or attributes, sorry, that are pretty good. Determination, flair, physicals are okay. And then you get five for strength, um, which you get a lot of these random sort of like physicals down in this lower level. You all want to see Thiago Green, don't you? Because it's all about Thiago Green. Now, I was going to do a shirt giveaway on the channel um, using my friends at BF, brfans.com. They have a really good array of fake football shirts, but... Very well put together. This is my latest one, my classic Roma shirt that's just come through the post. And I wanted to do a shirt giveaway. I knew they were doing an African Cup of Nations sort of like promotion. And they've literally got every team apart from Sierra Leone. So um, I'm going to ask them when they've come off their Chinese holiday. I will ask them to see if they'll put together a Sierra Leone shirt. Because I was thinking... For you guys that watch this series and follow the series and are staying pretty hardcore to it, it'd be nice to, to give away a, a Tiago 14 Sierra Leone. He hasn't been capped yet, but by the time that shirt comes out, surely he will be. He has signed a new deal. I was eager to sign him to a new deal because he is improving rapidly this season. 11 goals, 20, 11, 11 goals and 26. He signed a new contract, but he's got a 165,000 release fee. Couldn't get out of it and I was a little bit scared of losing him altogether. So we've got him on a long term. I'm hoping in a year's time we can offer him a new deal and really get rid of that clause. Now I'm kind of thinking if we can just get by this next year and then up it a lot. 165,000 just doesn't seem a lot for a player who is predicted to be a league, a star league one player. I think he's just turned 18. I think he could be better than that. Let me know your thoughts down below. Where do you think Thiago Green will end up. We'll follow his career closely when he moves on to new pastures, no doubt at some point. Um, and even when the save is over, he's still going. We'll keep it going just to see, maybe similar a few seasons, just to see what 
becomes of Thiago. And you never know, we've got the youth intake coming up soon. Your chance to be a part of the series. Patreon's link down below if you're interested in becoming a region like Thiago Green. Link's down in the description. Go check it out. We'll have our, hopefully, our new intake. There's going to be four or five youngsters coming through the youth team into the first team next year. So that's why I really want to dive in with a sort of like a tactical philosophy and we can train players very much like my Bill Bow said. My tactic, my style of play kind of stayed the same and we were trying to develop players in the youth team, um, individual training around what we needed in the team at the time, in the first team. So I want to do this with this save and not just a bit of... It's kind of a bit of a scattergun approach at the moment where we're just putting a group of players together as a squad and then picking a tactic. And I want to do roles reversed from next season. Right, here we go. We're going to get straight into it now. It is Hartlepool, who are down in 11th. We've got a bit of an injury crisis. Both centre-halves are injured. Brilliant. Semple will come in and Max Hill will come in. Rizonka is also injured. So we're going to go with Jamie Hopcutt out on the left-hand side leaving Green and Phillips up front. Big shout out as well to Shrew Nalda. Got in touch on Twitter and uh, said, I've got some set pieces for you. Now, he said there were nothing amazing. They're just standard suits of 4 4 uh, kind of bog standard uh, set pieces. So, fingers crossed, we'll have no shambles like we've had over the last few episodes. So, big shout out to Ronaldo. He is a blogger. I'm going to leave his latest blog with Bristol City down in the comments. Go check him out um, and go give him a, a follow. He's constantly tweeting about FM20. Two, as Biggins hits the bar, go check him out. I've just had the dreaded COVID positive test back this morning, so I'm off work now for the next four or five days. So fingers crossed I can get some more content out to you, maybe an extra episode of DNA and this one as Civi crosses, headed clear. Um, so if I don't look as beautiful as what I normally do, you know why, I've got the dreaded COVID. Right, Alan, down the left-hand side. Oh, they're going to score. Yeah, we haven't started very well. We have not started very well. That's been a poor half hour. We've absolutely done nothing. I think for me to really dive into this save as well, I think we need to find that, that tactical philosophy because when things go wrong and we haven't got a style to suit to, you just start flip-flopping between tactics and you don't commit to anything. So we really need to commit to some, something next season. We said we were going to do it this season and we didn't. We didn't, so we really need, I really need you down in the comments to give us a, a style, a philosophy, a manager to replicate. We've not played very well here, boys. We could be on three straight defeats after t today's <laughs> today's game with Sykes Kenworthy. Just hesitated for a second, but we got there. That's really poor, really poor. Great save. We are absolutely all over the place. York City, as you could see, we're just hanging on to the playoffs. It's going to be tight. It is going to be tight. Our objective was to avoid relegation. So we're doing a pretty much as good as you could expect. We're going to equalise. We have VAE's offside. Thiago Green's offside. Um, I've signed a new deal as well. Yeah, I think he was way off, wasn't he? Oh, he wasn't. Here we go. Noble Lazarus. Phillips. There's a runner. Biggins. It's a brilliant run from Biggins from the midfield. Third man run. And a wonderful finish. And right on half time, boys. Biggins gets his fourth of the season. That is a brilliant attack. Great run from Biggins. I think he's the... Is he playing? I'm sure he's playing as my box-to-box -box midfielder. Phillips. Lovely pass. Noble Lazarus has got it down coolly as well. And it's a decent finish from Biggins. No, he's playing as my central midfielder. Central midfielder on attack. So, yeah, that, that makes more sense of him bursting forward. Ooh, good save, Sykes Kenworthy. Come on, let's pick up three points, boys. Let's get back on back on track with this season. Secure the playoffs, and then you never know. This is, I find, any sort of save at this level, I always find the Vanarama National League the hardest one because there's only two teams can go up, and the quality of teams that come down, it's, it's difficult. Phillips, so it's going to be a little bit of a lottery until... York have disappeared and we can really then become the strongest team in the league in terms of budget and stuff. Getting Osterfield, the midfielders have done us proud today. I would like to make Osterfield deal permanent in the summer. He's had a great impact for us. Philip's doing well as well. As well as well. Well again, into Noble Lazarus. These two combining again. This time it's Osterfield on the end of it and it's 2-1. Good start to the second half. We're going to give that a praise. Right, don't allow them to come straight back into it, boys. Wide. We're clear. We're fine. We're fine. Biggins. Green. No, we're not getting there, are we? We're not getting there. Batash. McCarthy. Allen. Good press, though. Nice little press. 
Making him play sideways and backwards. Don't let him turn. McCarthy, Batash. Got a nice shape. We're going to get that back and we might, might be able to play a Semple, Fallowfield. Thiago Green just dropping off a little bit. He's going to get the run. This is brilliant football. Oh, we were nearly in. That would have been a tremendous goal. We've got it back. Noble Lazarus done really well again. Phillips. He's looking for Hopcut. He finds Hopcut. Is he going to dig out a cross for me? He went for a Megs. I think he got a Megs in there, you know. And Phillips has headed it in at the far post for his 18th of the season. We have turned it round here just before half time, and then two goals in the first 10 minutes of the second half. It's now 3 1 Athletic Club York. Lovely bit of play as well from Hopcut. Was it a Megs? No. But we'll go with it. We'll go with a Megs. And just like that, 3 2. Just like that, 3 2, boys. DMA. Bit of a shambles again, to be honest. Looked like he was going to get there, get there, get... Oh, it's like a half tackle. A half tackle from Habergum. And they're back in it. Right, they've gone long. Let's get the ball down. We are doing hot cut. We need to take some players off. Thiago Green, Phillips, seal it for me, buddy. Oh, just wide. Just wide. We're going to just change. Let's see what we've got on the bench. We're going to go Scott and Wilson, which we're taking off two goal scorers. But because they're so tired in there, doing a lot of running, I think the last 20 minutes, can we just dominate a little bit in the middle of midfield with fresh legs. 17 shots, Hartlepool. Dear me. Right, are we hanging on here, boys? Houlihan, Batash, Benu. Back to Barnes. This is worrying me, boys. Worrying me. We've gone long. We're going to go. Oh, dear me. Sykes came with us. Chill out, bud. The bounce nearly did him. Got a couple of players, both Phillips and Thiago are struggling up front. Phillips, come on, score me the goal to seal it over the bar. Was it a good save? I think it was. We're going to do one more substitute. Let's get Gabby McGill on for Thiago. Habergum with it. Crossed. Hot cuts there. Oh, just because we're so shaky at the back, boys. I just feel like we're always going to give them something. We're giving them a man advantage for the last probably 10 minutes of the game. Semple has had a bit of a stinker for us this season. Was our star man, offered him a big deal, persuaded him to stay. And he's, at the moment, he's not our first choice centre-half. Right, um, bagger. Okay, we're going to go with a, a flat five with a winger at full-back. <laughs> I'm just going to go with that. See how that works. Focus. Five minutes of stoppage. We're going to see it out, boys. One, uh, 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 identical XG, one point, oh no, they sneaked an extra shot at the end. Um, 20 shots though, boys, that ain't good, is it? I know you can say, well, it's 20 shots, but they've had 12 on target, 12 on target. We need to be better without the ball. Alder shot away, Alder shot have now flown up to third. So this is going to be, I'm a little bit worried defensively that we're going to really struggle here today. Not being able to keep out a team that are flying high and on a great run of form. We've also lost, um, obviously, Semple in uh, suspended. Finney, our main centre back, still injured. So having to play like our fourth choice centre back in there. And Osterfield as well, who scored in the last game, is out injured. And we're going to go with Wilson, who doesn't get on with Biggins, apparently. Rizonka is only good enough for the bench. Thiago Green and Phillips will lead the line again. I was quite happy attacking. It's just back here. It's just back here. Maybe the midfield too. The combination is just on maybe a little bit too attacking. With a box-to-box -box and a central midfielder. Maybe the roaming a little bit too much. Right, the shots against York. Come on. Here we go with the corner. Cross. <sighs> Cleared. Have another go. Hill. Here we go. Wilson. Downing's going to pick it up. The centre-half. He's good with his left foot though. He's a kind of a full-back. <sighs> that was a brilliant ball. Wilson. Is he going to dig out a cross? He does. Biggins is there and Biggins has hit the bar. So good. He's like Frank Lampard getting in the box. Late runs into the box. Cross. Thiago Green's there and it's gone over the bar. Good start from us though. Really good start. Right. Here they go. Shots first. Meaningful attack. Kinsella. Harris. Kinsella. Waterhouse. Good build up. We've lost the run. They've hit the bar. The, the bar? It's a bit posh. Hit the bar with a Decanio esque volley. More of the ball. We've had 53%. Let's 
are just starting to get into the game though. We are at the Wagstaff cross to the back stick. We've been out jumped. Waterhouse is there and it is 1 0 and Ralphie is here. Right, we're back and we're 1 0 down. I'm quite intrigued with this tactical. I think we're just bumbling along. I think we need something. So if uh, we might even bring it in towards, down towards the end of the season or at very least put the tactic in play as our secondary tactic so the team is training training kind of with it. And then we we can use it as maybe a little bit of a go-to. That's my thought. So really important you guys drop down in the comments. And obviously it helps the channel, the old algorithm and all that stuff. So yeah, we can be whatever. We can be tiki taka. We can be... Whatever you, whatever you want. We don't have to go because we're lower league. We want to create a club identity that this is us. This is what we do. The youngsters will train it. We'll, we'll create players and train youngsters in terms of um, player roles and player positions, that sort of thing, to fit the tactic. Right. Hopcut is injured and we're bringing on a semi-fit Razonka because we're that desperate at the moment. We've had eight shots. We're kind of in, in the game. Maybe unlucky to be in front, I suppose. But we're just so shit at the back. And we have been for the majority of... This tactic, the general, the 4-4-2, has been quite good for me defensively. We were really good with my Palmer team defensively. And this, we are not. Right, green. No, he's just let Phillips take it off him. This is a shambles, boys. This is a shambles. Wagstaff. I'll be disappointed that because we've been in the playoffs for like the majority of the season, if we don't get the playoffs, be pretty good in. Right, Kinsella. Morris down in steps in. Come on, we need something, boys. We need a spark. Let's berate them, see if that can be the spark. Sykes Kenworthy goes long. Thiago Green just drops it down on the chest and tries a chip. That would have been the spark. He's got the away end going at least. All 371 of them. Brilliant. It's a bit of a trek in it down to Aldershot. Right, Fallowfield, Phillips, Noble Lazarus, Biggins. Clips one over the top. Razonka is in. Oh, dear. Big chance again. Razonka with the corner. Good cross. Oh, Hill was there. Pretty much a free header. And once again, we're no good. At the back, and we should have at least, we've on an XG of 1.92. We should have at least taken one by now. Right, half an hour to go. We're still in it. Morris. Goes long. It's a good ball. Taylor. Harris. Waterhouse, who's been injured for the full game. <laughs> Taylor. Wagstaff. Waterhouse is in. And Waterhouse smashes it into the top corner. Sites Kenworthy should have done better. I, have gonna, I am going to promote my young goalkeeper next season because that isn't great. He does get done with a lot of these long ranges where the ball kind of goes through his hands. And we've been done by a striker who's got an injury and he's managed to score two goals. That's how bad we are defensively. Right, Fallowfield heads clear. He's going to come straight back. Goodridge. Olufunwa. Harris. Olufunwa. Is he going to cross it? He does. Good header by Biggins. Wilson clears. Thiago Green to Phillips. Phillips has got his nose in front. He hasn't got a lot of pace. He's held it up nicely for Rizonka. Has he got a little bit of craft? He does. He digs out a cross and Phillips was there and he's headed it way over the bar. Okay, Fallowfield. Biggins. Lovely chest. Habergum. Still got it. Wilson. Biggins. Back to Hill. Biggins. Wilson. We just need that run. Here we go. There's two on the right-hand side. Biggins. Fallowfield. He's got a lovely right foot. If he can dig out a cross. He finds Thiago Green, who's too far away from the goal. That was never going in. He should have maybe tried to nod it back across goal. We've had 18 shots, it says, but not 18 great shots. I'm going to be honest. Okay, Rizonka, 20 minutes to go. Thiago Green, can we get back in the game? Stop the substitute. Slips in Phillips. He should score. He absolutely blasts it in for his 18th of the season again. We've just said that about 10 minutes ago. That's a little issue with the uh, skin, I think. Lovely take from Thiago Green. Into Stott. Into Phillips, who absolutely smashes it in. Right, we've got a sniff, boys. A sniff. We're going to praise it. We have to do a little bit of praise. Noble Razov has had a bit of a stinker. Let's bring Nathan Dyer on that right-hand side. Thiago Green. Nope. Harris. 
We're going to get it back. Hill, Downing, Wilson, Stott, Phillips. Oh. <laughs> Taylor. What's it going to be? Good cross. Near post. Oh, God. Who was that on the line? Here we go. What a block. Come on, boys. He's playing with one leg and he's still absolutely dominating us. And we're just hanging on, as you can see by the league table. We're just hanging on to the playoffs at the moment. Rizonka. Cross. Thiago Green was underneath it. Wilson's going to pick it up there. No rush, mate. We're only 3-1 down. Don't worry. Here we go. Stott. Can we create something? It'll be an edgy last few minutes. Phillips is in. And Phillips has volleyed it. It's onside. 20 for the season for Phillips. Who was that again? Stott involved. Was it a nice, nice little clip from Hill? It was a straight little clip over the top. Phillips with an absolutely wonderful volley with his left foot. His weaker left foot. Are we going to create one more chance? We've had an XG of 3.11. 23 shots on target. 23 shots on goal. We've lost the game, boys. We just need to sort our defending out. Okay, that leaves us sixth place. We've only dropped uh, one place, which I suppose on the grand scheme of things is good. Difficult run of games we've had recently with Stockport, Aldershot, Hartlepool. We need to bounce back. Now we have got uh, 14 games to go to the end of the season. We're going to come back, hopefully, for the playoffs slash end of season next week. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you put your tactical philosophy down in the comments. So important because at the moment... We're on road to nowhere in Yorkshire or nothing. Cheers, guys. Take care. See you next Sunday. Ta-ta.